goodness me. Look at this. Oh my god, are you crazy? This is insane. Yeah. I can't quite believe I'm doing this, honestly. Ah! I made my way to the largest country in Southeast Asia, incredible Indonesia. Home to stunning beaches, epic volcanoes, vast mountains, and dense rainforests. This archipelago is made up of more than 17,000 islands, the second largest of which is Sumatra. Now, to begin my journey through Indonesian cuisine and culture, I've made my way to West Sumatra. Where would you believe I've been summoned to the Royal Palace? to meet a master of Indonesian cuisine, which many say holds some of the most diverse flavors anywhere in the world. I've arrived in the midst of a Sumatran celebration, honoring the region's diverse cuisine. And while I feel like an underdressed party crasher, I swear I've been invited. If only I can find the party's host. Good morning. I'm looking for William Wonto. Bye. Morning, gents. How are we? I'm looking for William Wonso. Uh, I don't know where is he is. You do? Yeah. Where on earth would he be? Gordon. Oh, my goodness. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome yes. to Western Sumatra. Chef William Wonso is an Indonesian legend. Over his half century career, this restaurateur, TV chef, and food author has been a mentor to many of the country's best chefs. He's earned himself a reputation as both a teacher and a taskmaster. And he's already tasked me for arriving without proper attire. Hope it's fit you. I'm sure. Nice thing about this, yeah. you'll go from a 32 waist to 38. <laughs> Fortunately, like a posh French restaurant, William also has a loner jacket on hand. How do I look? I look better now? Huh? I look better? Well, very good. Yes. It looks good. OK. This is what we call it traditionally bajamba, woman they're carrying food, and each tray for four people. Wow. My first time in Indonesia. What an experience. This grand palace has many rules. In most places around the world, it's no shoes, no service. Here, it's just the opposite. Shoes off. Yes. I have the biggest feet in West Sumatra. <laughs> Look, you can put yours inside mine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my lord. Traditional pajamba feasts call for food to be placed on the floor, meant for all to share, regardless of social status. This is considered the best food in the world. So you have to have the whole feast. The whole fish. Here is with a lot of fresh spices. Right. Influenced by spice traders and foreign travelers for over a thousand years, Indonesian cuisine is both diverse and daunting. And it appears we'll be trying every single dish. Potato frikadel. Open this. It's a great cake coconut with sugar. This is the glutinous rice. When you have this, you don't buy it. That's a very strange texture. The baby eel, very spicy. This one is a cassava leaf cooked in curry. Every 30 seconds, you're throwing something new at me. <laughs> so I'm like super confused, so, super uh, hot. Oh, my lord. So sorry, my nose is running. Yeah. Ooh, faster than you saying, bolt. But my invitation came with the promise of one course in particular. West Sumatra is the birthplace of an extraordinary dish known as beef rangdang. This is the beef rangdang, the favorite. This is a region specialty. It's a caramelized beef curry from Western Sumatra. Right. That smells delicious. Yes. Mm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. When you swallow that first mouthful, you're identifying the combination. It's deep, it's rich, it's just the perfect marriage. It's almost like a stew having sex with a curry. Breathtaking. Absolutely delicious. So, the challenge. You cook your style, Rendang. Yes. I cook my, the local ways here. You're 73 now. 73. <laughs> and you're still competitive. You want to challenge for a Rendang cook-off at the end of the week. I would love that. Okay. You are on. You put me under 
an immense amount of pressure to get up to speed with a rang down in a week. So I'm, uh, yeah. I want to get going. But you had to meet King and the Governor. Right. Thank you, gentlemen. Ni terima kasih banyak memperkenalkan Master Chef Dunia, Gordon Ramsay, His Excellency, the Governor of Western Sumatra. Sir, how are you? Yeah, fine, nice thank to meet you. you again. Yeah, Pleasure yeah, being here. Yeah, and the descendant king of Minangkabau. Pleasure, thank you. You cooked the rendang? Yes. The governor will be your judge. Oh, stop. <laughs> I think I've just been ambushed. Gentlemen, thank Good. you. Chef William Wongso, um, that guy's a legend. I mean, in his mid-70s now, clearly not slowing down. He wants me to get up to speed to master a rang dang and then get the governor to be judged. It doesn't get any bigger than that. If I'm going to beat the Indonesian master on his turf, I need the finest beef in Sumatra for my rang dang. So I've enlisted the help of a food writer, Arde, who's guiding me into the highlands to meet local cattle farmers. Now, Arde, what's so special about the beef? We're going to meet the people that really know how to get the, the best beef right. in this area. Wow. Like a really good beef, special cattle. And um, it's a drive up into the mountains? Yeah, we are. The drive into the mountains is long and arduous, so Arde suggests we stop for a bite along the way. Fortunately, in Sumatra, street food is a way of life. On almost every corner, vendors hawk freshly made snacks from push carts or hole in the ward shacks. Like this one, selling beaker, a tea cake made from coconut. What is this? Really good. It's everyone's favorite. Everyone's favorite. Hello. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. My goodness, that's incredible. <laughs> Smell, what is that? They cook the cinnamon wood. Cinnamon wood. So this is beaker. Beaker. It's like a cookie, a cake, small cake. So rice flour and shredded coconut. And also they put some uh, sugar. So it's almost like an Indonesian macaroon. Oh, pretty much like that. So that's a banana leaf underneath there. Yeah. Wow. And, and then see how they close it. Oh, OK. Put the pot back on and it bakes it. You want to try? OK, let me take that. OK. Thank you. Pew. Oh, no, 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 yeah. Damn, it's like a bird <laughs> all over my windscreen. Here we go. OK. Oh, no. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, Oh, sorry, I hit the side of the pot. Yeah. So can I have a look at these ones that are cooked? Let me get the uh, tongs. Here we go. <laughs> oh, sorry. See how they... OK, gotcha. How many beakers do you make a day? Uh, what do you do? 2,000. 2,000. 2,000 beakers. A week? No, a day. A day? A day. Every day. Every Stop day. it, smart ass. <laughs> <laughs> they make it look so easy. They're angling up to eight beautiful biscuits in there. Now, I couldn't even get one, so... Yeah, I mean, practice makes perfect, but how many coconuts do you want to screw? This is like typical from this area only. And people normally eat this while uh, having coffee in the wow. afternoon, like having a tea time. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, my lord. Yeah. My apology for screwing so many up. 2,000 a day. <laughs> yeah. But it turns out not all roadside snacks in West Sumatra are as delicious as Bika. Some, oh no, 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 please, no, no. I beg this you, not, 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 not the smelliest fruit on the planet. Durian fruit, so well respected here. There's a pungent smell that doesn't sit right with my palate. Never been a big fan, but I, I, I respect it. Oh my god. What, you tried this before? I did try it. No, 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 wait. It's different. This is Sumatran durian. It's different. This is the best. A Sumatran durian is different to a Malay. Any other durians. This is the best. So they don't smell? They smell. They but sm that's what you need about durian. Come on, but it's different. It's different. It's different. I swear, I'm not just being precious. Durian fruit is so smelly, it's outlawed in hotels, elevators, and on public transport throughout much of Southeast Asia. The king of the fruit. It's pungent, it's strong. It's like something's been fermented. Can you try, please, for me? It looks like a human brain. <laughs> oh, excuse me, please. And I respect the fact that it's royalty of fruit, but it's just not my cup of tea. 
durian's strong taste is polarizing. It's either hated or loved, like Hawaiian pizza. But I think Arde is just trying to torment me. Really? Mm. Mm -hmm. Gee, can you stop eating that like that? Let me just finish this. It's not the last durian. <laughs> After tasting street food, both good and bad, it's time to get back on the road in search of the finest cuts of beef on the island, which will hopefully wash the taste of durian out of my mouth. They keep the cattle free, and also they always keep the best cut for themselves normally. Gotcha. It's gonna be special, like the thing you've never seen before. Really? Mm -hmm. So, Ade, where is this beef? How much further? Um, Up around the corner? Probably further. Seriously? It must be good. If it takes some effort, you'll get a good one. I always say, <laughs> the best food in the world takes effort, right? Right. What is that? Oh, my. I know. Oh, my goodness. Jawi. It's a bull run. So they run from this side to that side, and then it has to be straight and wow. fast. Pachu Jawi might be my new favorite sport. Started 400 years ago as a celebration for the end of the rice harvest. Today, local ranchers compete by racing cattle through a flooded rice field. It takes great strength, incredible courage, and just a touch of crazy. Can we get a closer look? Maybe over yeah, the bank? Yeah, sure. This is insane. That's perfect. By the way, uh, those are the guys that are going to give you the before you run down. Can I meet them? Yeah, sure. Please. Hello, Hi. Hi. Hey, how are you? How are you? Wow, that was amazing. If you try to impress them by trying that, they will give you the best bit. Uh, mm. Seriously? I mean, like, if you if you can't, if you you feel scared, like it's okay. <laughs> oh my lord, look. Uh, okay, I'll try it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, really? <laughs> Can't quite believe I'm doing this, honestly. I said, can I go and get some beef? Oh my goodness me. The things I do for Rangdang. Sumatra, Indonesia, I'm attempting to convince these local cattle ranchers to share their finest cuts of beef. And after falling flat on my face, I followed it up by falling flat on my ass. The crowd is betting on how I'll fall next. And right now, I feel like an idiot, so I need to nail this one. <laughs> let's go, let's go. They 
sense I'm a chef. It's called payback time. <laughs> one more. Captain, one more. Last one. It's like this incredible jolt and jerk shift. You're not holding on super tight, man, you're history. The secret is to lean forward and get right. Your head tucked in between both our <laughs> Head down, hold that bar, and then close your eyes and <laughs> yourself. Man, please, can I have that beef now? This is insane. All this for a beef rangdang. That beef better be good. Please, May, I have some beef. Yeah, yeah, we got Papa. He said it's okay. Look. Now you can get the beef. Thank you. Oh my lord. <laughs> Stick to cooking. After the world's longest shower, the next day I make my way to the coast. Indonesian feasts require a variety of dishes, so I'm in search of fresh seafood. As an island nation, it's no surprise to learn that if it swims, Sumatrans will eat it. So I'm off to the regional capital of Padang, where I'll meet up with local guide Rusty. Now, Rusty, Chef William told me to come down and meet you because fishing down here is important, right? This one's of the main food uh, for the local people here in Sumatra. What kind of fish are in these uh, waters? Red snapper, white snappers, uh, trevally, and tuna. Fingers crossed we're going to catch some. Sure, why not? Um, Let's go. So? Is that a little boat down there? We're going to use this uh, small boat, and then we go to the other uh, fishing boat. So a taxi? Something like that. Making our way into the open sea in our water taxi, I'm praying the fishing boat we're heading for is a little more ship shape than some of the boats we pass. Wow, I think that thing's older than me. Are you sure this is a boat? It's like a pirate ship. Pirate ship? Oh, thing. OK, where's the captain? Captain. 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 Yeah. Good evening, is. sir. How are you? Good to see you, bud. How can I help, Captain? Yeah, you have to walk here. Yes. Yeah, like uh, throwing these fishing nets through the ocean. To secure the catch of the day, it appears I'm going to have to earn it. The captain glides across the swaying outrigger, instructing me to fasten the net at each of the corners. Bloody hell. Is that in the corner? We got it. Yeah, yeah, but in the corner. Just give me a minute, dude. <laughs> There's got to be an easier way of getting a net out here. My feet don't even fit on the plank. I knew he'd put me to work, but I didn't realise I'd be auditioning for Cirque du Soleil. Rusty. Yes, I'm coming. He stopped moving the boat and it's going up and down. Yes. This is not going to take my weight. Ah, uh, that's just iron wood, yeah. This is going to be strong. <laughs> yeah, under. Watch your feet. You have to do the corners, the last one. Yeah, you pull it. There's a massive jellyfish down there. Do they sting? Uh, yeah. Why is the thing rocking all the time? Wind. Watch your feet. Keep going. Pull it. To here? Yes. And here? Yes. Don't fall. You have to keep the balance. Holy. Pa, balang bantu dia. You know why you why you fall down? Because you're so heavy. <laughs> I said that. <laughs> Despite taking an unexpected bath, I'm determined to finish lashing my nets to the outriggers and prove to the captain that I can pull my weight, even if that's double his own. OK, that's great. Good. Good, captain. Captain. Our nets lowered to the sea floor. The captain hits the floodlights, meant to attract the fish. After treading water in the Indian Ocean, I'm starving. Fortunately, there's a surprise waiting in the galley. So, look at that. <laughs> what, 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 what? That is not fish. Stop it. Yes. Look at that. Yeah. This is uh, beef rangdang. Beef rangdang. Yeah. But we're on a boat. Why no fish? May I? Yeah, you can try. 
So, mm. what do you think? That's delicious. Really? Mm. Please. That is so good. A big surprise is the bloody beef rendang. So, no fish? No, because uh, beef rendang can stay longer like a one month. There's me thinking I'm going to eat some fish from the previous catch. No, there's no refrigeration on board, so this caramelized beef, that is absolutely delicious. My job this week is to make a rendang that can compete with Chef Williams. The captain's recipe is loaded with even more spice, which preserves the beef while out at sea. You know, it's crispy, it's caramelized. It's nice and moist and sort of sticky in the middle. After eating both versions, I'm getting a much more complex understanding of West Sumatran rendang. Now, the nets are down. Mm -hmm. The lights are on. Um, when we pull the nets up? It's uh, three or four days. Three or four days? Yes. Mm. I can't spend three or four days out here. <laughs> <laughs> the captain promises to deliver my share of the catch when he returns to land, which hopefully will be in time for my big cook with Chef Wong So. With so much still to discover, I reconnect with our day, who has promised to give me the edge over the master of Indonesian cuisine. Wow. Is that it? We're going in there? Yeah. Uh, Ade, uh, every hour with you is a different adventure. <laughs> According to Ade, while Indonesia's coastlines provide some of the best saltwater seafood in the world, there's more to be found inland if you know where to look. So what are we going to catch? Uh, freshwater okay. prawns, like a huge one. Really? I never ever thought we'd be finding prawns in here. <laughs> How do we get through there? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Go down. Oh, there's nowhere to go down. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> What was that? What did we hit? Nothing. It's okay. Are you scared? You're no, not scared. You're just crazy. I'm venturing into a dark cave system on the hunt for giant Indonesian river prawns. You can sit back Now. Wow, look at this. This is incredible. What an entrance. Literally, you know, I'm talking about a foot high. I fished many an amazing location, but not quite as exotic and exquisite as this. Are you sure there's prawns here? Is it so? Can you hear those bats? Mm hmm. Okay. Shall we? I've never caught a prawn on a hook. I'm going to cast a little bit further up there. Man, it's hard to understand any form of time when you're in this cave and it's dark. <laughs> Come on, prawns. After sitting for over an hour with barely a nibble, things are looking bleak until there's a light from the end of the tunnel. Hello. Hello. Are they been fishing? Yeah, yeah. Are they? They are. Did you catch any prawns? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my goodness me. Oh, Stop it. Could I buy some prawns, please? Yes? Those fishermen saved the day for me. You know, Addy and I were sat there patiently, but we could be here all night and still no bite. They are weird looking prawns. Yes. Bloody hell. Wow, thank you. Yes. God, God bless. Yeah. <laughs> right, should we head back? I've got to start prepping okay. and cooking for the governor. Yeah. Look at the length of the claws. Crazy. Thank you. I've gathered all the meat and seafood for my menu. So now I'm sourcing the remaining ingredients to make my rangdang paste. Wow, look at this thing here, that's yeah. beautiful. To ensure it measures up to Chef Williams, I've enlisted the help of a young rangdang master named Katuju. Rangdang, 
It came from West Sumatra, right? Yes. I've got to go up to speed, and I'm going up against a legend. I need to nail this thing. You can find everything you need to make a special rendang in this market. Right. Wow, what's this lady doing here? They're already prepared for the most important ingredient for rendang. Wow, so what's she doing? She's making a paste? Yeah, that's chili and onions. Can we do it here? Uh, bisa kita lakukan di sini ini. We can use this. Absolutely. For Thank our you. Okay. And we can go around to Shall find we? some ingredients. Thank you. Now that I have the perfect spot to mix my rangdang paste, Katuju and I search for the rest of my ingredients from the incredible array of local produce. Did you have this one? Gallagher on there. Okay. This one is lime. Lime leaf, lime. cafe lime, cafe lime leaf. Yes. Beautiful. What's that one in there? Chicken feet. Chicken food? I'd love to try it, thank you. But there are so many smells and flavors here to distract a chef like me. Ooh. They make this market feel like one big playground. Uh, yes. Okay. It's okay to buy the bike? Thank you, thank you very much. High five, high five. Amazing. Oh, that's good. <laughs> With all the ingredients needed to start my special rangdang, it's time to grind them down into a fine paste. I'm giving a crash course in using the Chobek and Ulican, or Sumatran, pestle and mortar. Okay, we're going to start the paste. Yes. And um, there. Okay. Gotcha. You can do it. You can do it. I just pull it up. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Uh, oh. You asked the lady to stop laughing. I'm getting embarrassed. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> it's like all my daughters seeking revenge in okay. one. Okay. okay. <laughs> just we use a uh, spoon. Yeah. Yes. I have enough pressure on me going up against Chef Wonso, but this is harder than it looks. Uh, you, do you have a okay. bigger rock? Yes. Yeah. Better right. You give me the small one first. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and this lady seems a bit impatient with me. Seems she's a follower of the Ramsey method. Next ingredient, ginger. Ah. I'm starting to get the hang of this. And with the shallots now pulverized, in goes the garlic, salt, and of course, heaps of chilies. Is she happy? Finally. Yeah, bagus, bagus. It's good. That was a workout. That was good. I'd love to start cooking this now. How do okay. I? Because the secret yes. is getting this thing done with sort of okay. eight to ten hours in front. We can find the place. We can find Chicago. someone. Chicago. Okay. Thank you okay. so much. Thank you so much. Boom. Excellent. Halo, assalamualaikum Uni. Uh, kita mau memasak rendang, bisa kita pakai sebentar tempatnya? Oh boleh. Okay. She said yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. I want a gorgeous little kitchen. I really want to make sure that we nail this rangdang. Now that Katuju has helped me with the paste, I'm ready to roll up my sleeves and take it from here. Here we go. Gas, Turn up the gas. Um, just pass me that lemongrass, please. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to split them. So in, a little slice in the middle. Okay. That's going to give it a little bit more sweetness. And then next, turmeric leaf. Twist, that starts to bleed. Cafe lime leaf. Okay, and then the like turmeric. This. Beautiful. You see, it's not even cooked yet, and look at it, already it's starting to okay. smell. Um, madam. Uni, uni, uni. Yeah, yeah, boleh. She said, good smell. Good smell? Good smell. Mm, right. And it's just the start. Coconut milk now. Beautiful. It is such a high pressurized cook. My rangdang may smell authentic, but it's got a long way to go before it tastes authentic. I just hope the governor doesn't veto it. I have to beat William. And so this needs to be exceptional. It's my last day in West Sumatra, and I'm feeling like an undergrad, having pulled an all-nighter before finals. Chef, good morning. Gordon. Put that on there. You're late. I know, I know, I'm so sorry. Are you good? I've been here for, <laughs> for a couple of hours. My apologies. Look at that table. The most gorgeous table anywhere in Indonesia. Today, I'll serve a feast to the governor of West Sumatra. And I'm keen to show my Indonesian mentor that I've done my homework. Whilst you were sleeping and having those wonderful dreams last night, my rangdang has been working, OK? I know you can't do this in, like, two or three hours, so I started it in the market yesterday. No time to waste. Job one is finishing my rangdang. 
But instead of ordinary beef, I've got a secret weapon. I'm using a beautiful tenderloin, not often used in Rangdang. It's one of the most tender cuts of beef. Combine that with wild ginger, galangal, and smoked coconut oil, and I'm sure to make an impression. I hope I heard a good thing about your bull race. That was hard. How much distance you make? I made it about um, 80 meters. Sorry, 80 centimeters. It's embarrassing. That was hard. Come on. Look, I'm putting my feet here, and I'm there like that. <laughs> my head was sandwiched right in between two bullocks' asses. Not good. <laughs> he said, get in and look for an adventure. I did just that, but my goodness me. Right, got some great color on that beef now. I'm caramelizing that beef on top of this grill, and I'm going to place the beef inside that dang dang. I tell you, you follow my, my way. I will be following your way, trust me, at my own peril. I will be following your way. <laughs> Remember, never do rendang in the quick way. In the quick, no, I'm not rushing this rendang. Although rain is stopping play here, and, uh... Well... <laughs> what, what should I do? <laughs> well, we can't stop. The governor's coming for dinner. <laughs> here you go. Here you go. <laughs> OK, whatever. Come whatever. on, my mum said a little bit of rain never hurt. I checked the weather forecast this morning. It's a very quick shower. All right. Oh, chef, 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 chef. It's fine. Look, 30 seconds now. We'll be passing. Ah. There you go. That's good. Yeah. Can my umbrella back now, please? <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. <laughs> After our quick cool down, it's time to add some more sweet coconut cream to complement the Rangdang's rich spices. Now, that coconut milk is the essence of a great Rangdang. Gordon. Yes, sir. If the moisture is too high, yes. it doesn't last long. OK. Gotcha. Chef, how to turn the gas up on this thing? Time is running out. Yeah, I know. Rain didn't help, did it? You know, William sees a little bit of him in me, so he wants to mentor me now. Are you, are you going to cook this until going back to London? It's almost like being back, you know, at the beginning of my career. Rice? Not too hot. No. Let's okay, try we'll... them off again, get a little more crispy. Good. Yeah. Why are you doing that? Do this, do that. Otherwise. It's going to burn. Now, do you want to take over? I'm never too old to take advice. But to take advice from a legend like that is exciting. Chef William has prepared a beef rangdang in the traditional style, simmering the meat in the rangdang paste for over eight hours. He's also preparing a fern tip curry served with fresh shrimp. I'd be lying if I said I'm not a little nervous about what else he may have up his sleeve. Where's my prawns? Prawns, prawns. Where have my prawns gone? Here you are. See? What? I'd steal it from you. You stole my prawns? Why have you stolen them? I want to make a surprise. Give you a little surprise is good. Shame on you, William Wonso. <laughs> I'll let William have my prawn. After all, I've been through this week. I don't have the strength to fight. Luckily, my fishing captain came through with some beautiful bonito. I'll use my curry paste to prepare a unique fish rangdang to complement my beef rangdang. I hope you enjoy those prawns. I worked hard for those things. This is my favorite. Oh. I'm glad to hear it, by the way. I got them in a cave. You are daring. I am very daring. You haven't done your dessert. For the dessert, I'd love some yogurt. Do you have any yogurt, please? Fresh yogurt. How, how soon do you need? ASAP, please. Leave it. Just put it here. Take it off. Don't let it burn. We go in and get the yogurt. Seriously? Local log yogurt? Very local. Buffalo. Buffalo yogurt. Very curdy, very firm. Look at the size of that beauty. Is this the farmer? Yes. Wow. Good morning, sir. Bapak sudah mulain. Bapak bisa ambil.
Bapak bisa ambil dadia, bisa ambil dadia. We ask him to to get the yogurt. Tidak, saya tinggal karpau. Well, you have to wait. We wait until he's finished milking. Buffalo are much more sensitive than domesticated dairy cattle. As a result, the farmer has refused to step away from his prized cow until her udders are tapped. I, we can't wait. You I got to go. The governor's lunch. Ini udah udah bisa mulai di ini. But with the clock ticking, William asks the farmer to fetch the yogurt and volunteers my services to sweet talk some milk out of this bashful bovine. They want me to milk this. You you better do it. William, you better do seriously. It. Okay. Uh, what's the secret? Talk quietly, love it. I just rub nicely, make her relax. Damn. Yes, yeah, slowly. Slowly. Oh. William, seriously, I'm more concerned about my rangdang. She's not happy. All right. <coughs> no, no, no. <coughs> If she flicks that tail, I'm covered in. Oh, bloody hell! <laughs> seriously, <laughs> I'm covered in. <laughs> William. <laughs> In West Sumatra, Indonesia, I'm on the hunt for fresh buffalo yogurt. <coughs> And the local buffalo are not impressed. If she flicks that tail, I'm gonna be... Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> My local mentor, <laughs> Chef Wonso, seems to enjoy seeing me with a literal <laughs> eating grin. I love buffaloes, let's get that clear. She was a little bit nervous, so, you know, they're sensitive animals. She's not very happy. She lets her number two out and then flicks this it right good. off This is good. This is the organic cosmetic. Organic cosmetic, thank you. <laughs> But the yogurt is unique, and I need it for that finishing touch, especially across the dessert. This is the yogurt. Wow. See? Mm. <laughs> A bit sour. Yeah, it's very sour. The cut is more sturdy. Mm. So it's set already like that? Set already. In the bamboo? In the bamboo. You can't do it with, with cow milk. Mm -hmm. It doesn't set like this. No. This yogurt is unique because it has a certain amount of tartness, unlike any other yogurt. Traditionally served with breakfast, but I'm going to put it in a dessert and, fingers crossed, blow their minds. A bit like the buffalo did over me. Blew his <laughs> Thank you. This is This, this is, is very natural uh, and unpasteurized. Uh, thank you. Seriously. Fresh yogurt secured for my dessert. We can all once again focus on our main courses. The governor is due any moment. So William wants to make sure my head is out the buffalo's ass and back in the game. Make yeah. sure again, caramelize. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Why are you shouting at me? You want to impress the governor? Yes. Caramelize. Gotcha. Thank you. Caramelize. Hello. Uh oh. I've never stirred a curry so much in all my life. Governor coming in. Ah, hello. Hey, how are you, sir? It's more pressure. It's oh, good, I know, he's just arriving. That's the governor's family there, right? That's your family, you know. But the wife is more important. The governor's wife is more important. She's Why? a parliament member. Member of parliament? Yes. Is she ready? Wow. Hello. Hello. Sir, how are you? Why, fine, 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 thank you. How are you? Uh, uh, <laughs> pleasure, nice to <laughs> see you. <laughs> Good to see you, it's an honor yeah. to have you here. Uh, pleasure. Yeah, I like rendang, yeah? Uh, beef rendang, and we have a, a fish rendang as well, but... I think it's very... Uh, smell, yeah. Smells good, yeah. thank you. <laughs> yeah, I will you. Make sure. Dry, dry, caramelized. Yeah. Caramelized, caramelized, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Coba saya, saya satu badu. Yeah. Now the governor and Chef William are speaking together. Don't be jealous. I have an assistant. Y yes. Very precious assistant. Yeah, but he's got to taste both our rang -rang, <laughs> so... Thank you. Thank you, Ba. Thank you, sir. Hey, excuse me. You can't cheat. When the governor wants to help me... Yes. I can't say no. Are you ready? I'm fine. I'm just waiting for you. Let's get that governor happy, yes? Yes. And fingers crossed, being on by a buffalo may bring me good luck. <laughs> Sun's out. Good news is, I can dry my hair. Do you have any gel, William? You think I use hair gel? A legendary stud like you. <laughs> by the way, 
I think that's one thing is missing to please the governor. You tell me now at the end of the cook, really? I bring for you the durian. Oh. Seriously? Don't do that to me, please. Let me help you to please the governor. With, with durian? Yeah, with durian. Let me help you. Oh, my God. Oh, please. We'll, honestly, seriously, I'm trying to finish my randang and you're munching, chowing on a durian fruit, which literally makes me feel sick. Mm. William, I'm trying Gordon. to finish my dishes, please. Gordon. Honestly. Gordon. William. This is fantastic. Love it. Two minutes, Governor. No problem. Just coming. As soon as William gets out of the way. Thank you, sir. OK. Thank you. Despite William's durian distraction, I'm in the home stretch and focused on the task in hand. If all goes well, maybe the governor will appoint me secretary of taste. OK, boom. Sorry about the wait. Brilliant. You happy? Boom. Right, good luck. Let's go. Time to let my rangdang do the talking. I just hope I guess like what it has to say. I spent an incredible week in Indonesia, learning all about this exquisite cuisine. Hopefully, my version of rangdang with grilled strip loin and finished with palm sugar will really stand up to that of Chef Wong So's. It all comes down to this. Thank you so much for your patience. Ah, My uh, beef rendang. Thank you. So Mr. much. Gordon, thank, down you there. thank you. Yeah. Mr. William, Mr. Gordon, yeah. Governor, please be seated. Yeah. Um, first okay. of all, my apologies for being late. That was no my problem. fault. No problem. Not King William's. But um, yeah. I've done rendang two ways today. A beautiful yes. beef rendang. Yeah. And then I did a fish rendang with a local court, Bonito. And then from there, I did the samba with the eggplant, fresh buffalo yogurt okay? with some sticky rice yes. and durian fruit. So, this is the uh, beef rendang. And then that one is the fern curry with rim. This is the grilled prawn. Um, Selamat please. makan. Selamat makan. Selamat makan. And yeah. enjoy, please. <laughs> Can't wait to hear your feedback. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I'm always nervous, whether it's being judged by critics, my parents, or even the governor. You know, there's not a dish yet in my career that I'm 100% damn it's in the bag. No, it's never in the bag because there's so many complex flavors here with Indonesian cuisine. It's not as straightforward as you think. So, fingers crossed, it'll all be down to the flavor. So they looked happy. But oh, your rendang was way darker than mine. It no, 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 yours is just, just right. It doesn't matter. They will be surprised. Really? Don't worry that. I can guarantee that this is the first time they have a foreign star chef mm -hmm. cooking rendang in the right way. That's a high power table up there, isn't it? <laughs> Do you ever get nervous when you cook for sort of esteemed guests like that? Well, I know sometimes, sometimes. not all the time. Let's just go to sleep. OK. Go easy on the uh, on the young man. <laughs> yeah? If this yeah, goes yeah. pear shaped, then I have to come back and spend a couple of months with you. Okay. <laughs> good. Yes. Good luck. Right. Uh, so, how you judge his style of rendang? Oh, I want to ask to my family. Bagaimana enak kah makanannya? Enak banget. Huh? <laughs> Lama bana. Lama bana. Oh, you know. Lama bana. Lama bana is uh, delicious. Oh, delicious. Oh. Delicious. Lama bana, delicious. Lama bana is delicious. My rendang. Lama bana. Wow. <laughs> you can see my plate is clean and clear. That is a great sign. And in the Ibu also. Uh, wow. Durian, durian. <laughs> Lama bana. Lama bana. Oh, oh they like wow. it. This is delicious. This is Wow. Okay. Wow. Thank you. Both William and I got a Lama bana from our guests. And I have to say, it's one of my favorite reviews ever. I'm so happy I could eat an entire durian. How was the eggplant? Sambal. With Lama the... banana? Lama uh, bana. Yeah. Lama bana. <laughs> Sorry. Lama bana. Um, I've had a. An amazing week, Governor, Madam, family, yeah. baby. Yes. Uh, yeah. I look forward to seeing you in London. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. God bless to you and the family. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, okay, okay. Thank you. William's no ordinary chef. He's in his mid 70s, six decades of experience. He's a wanted commodity 
with Indonesian cuisine. He has an encyclopedia from A to Z that is breathtaking. He understands 200 versions of rangdang. What a wealth of experience and one that can only make me a much better chef. Can I just say thank you? Mom, Honestly, my pleasure. I thought I knew something about Indonesian cuisine before I got here, but you taught me from the ground up, so thank you. It's my pleasure. Uh, will you take care of yourself? When are you going to retire? Never. Never? Never. That's got me thinking. Yes. <laughs> take care. Wow, this past week in West Sumatra, what an incredible experience. And talk about being pushed to your limits. Now, I may not be able to perfect a randang in seven days, but honestly, I'm pretty happy with what I did. Exploring this island's fertile landscapes and oceans, I've discovered a rich, complex cuisine packed full of flavor and spices. I've been humbled by incredible hospitality and learned traditions of a food history that go back centuries. Now, on to my next adventure.